Oh shit, here we go again. What's up guys? Uh, we have not played in a couple days. Um, and in between episodes, I wrote a ton of letters to almost every villager in the village. You did. Uh, and I... Sorry, I belched. Just drank some Coca-Cola. Acid reflux from that acidic beverage. It's not, it's not that acid you reflux. Did. It was just a belch because I chugged myself down some. Uh, okay. I have not had acid reflux lately. Because your acid reflux usually sounds different than a burp. Because burps are burps, but acid reflux, you always go, oh, no. Oh. Well, that was like a very soft belch. You know, it's just kind of like I just swallowed some Coca-Cola. Is that a natural sound effect you make when you burp, or do, you, or is that like you add it? I yeah. add it because otherwise it would just be like a silent, like. You know, oh, you don't you don't like belch burp. I can't belch like I like I can't really I never belch feels it's very good. rare I wish I could anyway um, I wrote letters to all the villagers um, I took some of y'all's advice from the comments on how to write letters So I wrote one to peewee and attached a cherry uh, because I really we just want to get more fruits so We can start a fruit grove. Uh, Did you get a cherry blossom? No just cherries. God but damn it. No one responded to my letters. I skipped like five days. Pee Wee is the only one that responded. Let's what did he it. say? Just to let you know, I save all the letters you send me. I patrol my village every night and I'm telling you, there are no weirdos here. Okay, I'm sick of writing. Okay, so that's just... So that's so it worked. I guess that's an okay letter. But he didn't send back a present. Home sent me a present. Mom said, take good care of this sapling I grew for you and it will bring you fortune. I don't know what will happen if you treat it like that tree you didn't water. Misfortune? And then no, we didn't water that shit. From the HRA, okay. I don't care. Um, and we got some letters from the museum. Let's see. Why doesn't Matt just put the money in his wallet? Is it in my inventory still? I don't know. Might be. Yo, I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm only human. Okay, well we got some fossils we can go donate. Uh, we actually can sell the dinosaur track because we already have that donated, but I don't know if we have, let's see, this one over here. Um, I don't know if we have this one yet. It's a plesiosaur skull, I believe, right? Plesio skull. Okay, let's go donate this. <gasps> Man, Do we I even have any part of the Plesiosaurus yet? I don't think so. I mean, that's the- maybe, that's the one that swims, right? It's- Yes. It's, didn't, like, whales evolve from that or something? Hold on, let me say hey to Peewee. Hey, baby. What's up? What's up, boo-boo? Uh, yeah, I know, we didn't play for, like, five days, cause- cause we were- we were busy. Uh, <laughs> Are you even talking to me, you mad bro? <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I'll go get your camera, too. I'll go to Emerald's place and get your camera to keep you happy. So you I know something else we have to do today. What do we have to do today? We gotta change our town tune. We do. You guys in the comments have been begging us every episode. It's been like the top comment to change our town tune to a little ditty you might know as my two lovely Would uncles. Would it take a while to do that? No, it's real quick. Really? Um, how do you, yeah. How do you make... You, you go and you, like, you set the notes to different things. And then your town tune actually plays, like... When the hour changes, the bells chime that out throughout your town. Would you make it do, 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 do? I don't know. Someone actually in the comments, thank you very much, whoever that was, uh, you put the exact notes I need to do. Did so you I will shot it. Uh, I can pull it up. It's like the top comment on a lot of them, so I can I can do it. I I feel bad for the guy because I pulled up the town tune board for like five minutes in a pre previous episode and did nothing. <laughs> so he was probably like, yes, finally, <laughs> and then I just closed it. Uh, I just teased him for like five minutes. That was not on purpose. Um, yay! Okay, so that's a new fossil. Um, I was talking to a friend recently about Animal Crossing, and it's like, in the newer games, they don't really care what you write in your letters, I think. Like, obviously there's things you shouldn't do where they get upset, but like, it's so much easier to write a good letter. There was one tip that said just write A period, A period on every line. Which I did, and I sent it to every villager with fruit, and nobody sent even a letter back saying it was a bad letter. <laughs> they're planning nobody. something. Nobody. They're, they're planning just like, something. Yeah, they're like, collecting all the letters and having like, town meetings like, you got one too, right? Okay, <laughs> we need to do something about this. <laughs> This fucker moves in, this horny motherfucker. Starts just sending us all of this mail with cherries. What, what, what is that supposed to mean? Wait, was that the Loch Ness Monster? No, it's the Plesio. The Plesiosaur, baby. Oh, the long neck water. I thought you were talking about the other creature. I thought I thought the Plesiosaur was like, kind of looks like a whale with arms, but I might be wrong. What's up, Peewee? Gonna go inside? You gonna change your uh, shirt, Peewee? No, I like that shirt. Don't change it. That's the best one. I mean, one. it's the classic one, but like, I don't know. I, I kind of like it when he switches it up. Because, you I, know, that means that that means that he's like, you know what? He's trying I'm, things I'm, out. I'm going to look nice today. You uh, always look nice, Pee Wee. Let's go. Are these April tickets? March tickets. So we can sell those. And then I have this letter from home that has the present. Let's see what this is. 
I'm gonna go sell that dinosaur uh, track though, because we already have that donated. Man, imagine moving into a town and all them animals. <laughs> Man, I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> Justin sent me the best, uh, <laughs> like one of the best things. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta play it for you. You know, you're gonna play a little, little tune for me? It's just, you fool, I'm glad we got our independence. Can you imagine me British? Uh, Eating tea and dunking crumpers? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> dunking crumpers. <laughs> Eating tea and dunking crumpers. You gotta watch it again, son. Whoa, dude. Evil, I'm glad we got our independence. Can you imagine me British? Uh, Eating tea and dunking, dunking crumpers? <laughs> like, it's so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this shirt is sick, dude. Look at this. Hold on. I'm gonna buy it. It's mine now. I just want money so we can pay off our debt, get our house bigger, and the best way for me to get money right now is to get new fruit and plant a big orchard and <gasps> then collect them all and sell them. Whoa! But I guess we're just gonna have to put that on hold, uh, because we've been trying for several episodes to get more fruit, but I guess, uh, we'll just have to wait until it's time, uh, when it, we just naturally get it, I guess. So for now, I guess fishing's probably the best way to get fruit. <gasps> Ooh, um, fishing, you say? You wanna fish? You wanna fish? I mean, I, I could- I can fish. I'm gonna sell I'm my March to fish. tickets. I'm gonna sell my paper. You know, Ryan needs his fishing time. Every Ryan now and then, Ryan needs time. his fishing time. You know, uh, a, a bad day at work is... A, ba uh, a bad day fishing is still better than a good day at work. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. Well, if you have someone with you. We should go fishing, man. You and I. I really just, like fishing. We should go hit the lake. Like, find some lake in California. No, we just need to rent a cabin for a weekend. Go and, like, fish around it. Make sure that we can hear bears running behind well, us. Well, that's the thing, is if we get a canoe, we don't have to worry about bears. Bears can swim, Matt. No, they can't. Yes, they can. Can bears actually swim? Yes. No, they what do you can't. mean? Bears yes. can't swim. They're too, they're too hefty. Matt, bears swim. No, they fucking don't. How do horses swim, Matt? Horses don't swim. Horses swim? Horses cannot swim. Yes, they can. No, they can't. They tread water like doggy paddle Horses shit. cannot tread water. Elephants swim too. Elephants walk through water. They don't swim. Look at this, by the way. I'm gonna I just up. bought this shirt and it's sitting in the dump. I didn't even have to spend money on it. Look at this shit. I'm gonna grab it, put it on. Wow, same shirt I just bought. It's ridiculous. What's that? It's a horse swimming. He can touch the bottom, clearly. That's not what he's doing. He can clearly touch the bottom. No, he's that. not, Matt. Yes, he is. Stop gaslighting I'm you, not dude. gaslighting you, dude. Horses, Horses can, can fucking swim. swim. Yeah, oh no, my god. Do I have to show swim. you this? Does that help out, Matt? Alright, that fucking What is helps. that? Yeah, he's swimming. What is swimming, it, Matt? Line. He's swimming. What's but, he doing? But Tell me. Swim. Just because a horse Okay, swim let me look not... up bear swimming for you then. Look that up while I pull up this comment so I can make this commenter happy. Let's see. What do you mean bears don't swim? What do polar bears do? What are you talking about, dude? Well, I'm not- if we're canoeing, a bear's not gonna swim out to us. Bears will climb trees to get you. They're not gonna go through the effort of swimming out. That's the most ridiculous shit I've ever heard. What are you talking That's about? That's just stupid and absurd. <laughs> Polar bears swim out and go chase seals and shit. Yeah, these aren't polar bears we're talking about. We're talking about brown bears. Big fucking mean grizzlies, dude. They're not, if they see us on the lake, they're gonna go look for easier food. They're not gonna fucking swim if out. If they're starving, a bears- Then the, we paddle away, dude. See, you're just trying to become right in a situation where you were wrong twice in a row. Well, I think being scared of bears while you're in the middle of the lake is a little ridiculous, that's all. I don't think it is. I think bears are evolved to be better than you in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I think that it's stupid to be scared of them in the middle of a lake, though. You're not scared of a big fish coming and flipping you? Huh? What about a big f fish coming a and flipping you? A whale or a shark, over? yeah. Not in a lake. Of course not. Are you comparing the, like, the dangerous nature of a bear to a fucking, like, carp? I'm saying there's bigger dangers out this on is a like lake you, than a bear. This is like you saying that, like, Oh, the, the chicken was using all of its brain power. I was only using .00001%. Ryan, what I'm saying is, if you're on a lake, I wouldn't be worried about bears, I'd be worried about, like, other things, like the boat sinking if, first. If you're on the edge of a lake, and a bear's swimming out, it would be scary. You could knock your canoe That's over. That's most likely not going to happen, though. Of course not. So we can just paddle away. Are you good at paddling? Fuck, I did it wrong. Yeah, canoe, I'm super good we're at We're gonna it. be freaking out, we're, accident we're accidentally gonna be paddling in circles, and we're gonna continue to, like, BOONK! The, like, bears had BOONK! And then he'll drown! <laughs> yeah! So it's a perfect course of action. <laughs> and then we win. There we go. Perfect. Dun, 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 perfect, there you go. 
Uh, so now whenever it changes time in our town, we're gonna hear it? Or if we talk to someone, listen to this, ready? Yes. Be, be real, real quiet for this one, ready? Here it comes. Here it is. Yeah, so every character has like I a really like instrument. that, that's awesome. Yeah. And then like, when, when the bell- there's other things that it plays the town tune for. Um, that's fucking sweet, dude. We gotta get KK Slider up in here, don't we? Fuck, we do. You know what, I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, first of all, here's what we're gonna do in this episode. I'm gonna shake some trees, see if I can find some furniture, some money. <laughs> the fucking cow Are you serious? out of a tree? The second I- God damn it! What happened? God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! No! <laughs> the second tree I shook, bees fell out! What happens when bees sting This happens. So what? I got a fucking sting on my face. Who cares? What does it do? Nothing. It just- <laughs> Wait, if you go talk to someone, will they notice? Yeah, they'll be like, Jesus, what happened to you? They won't say Jesus, but... So that's like- I wish you could go to church in Animal Crossing. Why, Ryan? Separation of church and Animal Crossing. No. You should be able- there should be a mosque, there should be a- like a Catholic cathedral, there should be a... Jew, Jewish temple? Where I was about to call where, it a Jew temple. Where, where did Jews go to church, Ryan? In the temple. No. Nope. They go to temple. They where, go to mass. What do they go to? They go to a synagogue. Yes! See, when Look at you trying to act smart when you didn't even know fucking bears could swim. I, I think it's a much more common fact that Jewish people worship in a synagogue than if bears could swim. When I was a kid, I learned animals before religion. You dude. don't learn what animals could swim or not. I think it's pretty obvious. Bears hunt for fish and they go out and swim sometimes and catch them. They don't swim you saw after fish. All I'm saying is, when I was a little kid, I knew the word bear before I knew the word synagogue. I'm not synagogue. talking about if you know what they are, I'm talking about knowing if they can swim or not. Yeah, didn't you watch Animal Planet? When you I were a kid? I didn't have cable as a kid! My parents were broke as fuck! I'm just kidding, they weren't actually broke, we just didn't have cable. Why not? Because we were broke. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't broke, I mean, I, I think, uh... We weren't, like, Let, Let's put it this way. When he says that, that doesn't mean he, like... <laughs> yeah, let's have a let's have a pour off, Matt. Oh yeah, well I lived in an apartment complex with my dad. Ryan, you got two Christmases every year and two birthdays, so I don't even want to hear it, dude. <laughs> you know yeah, what? Yeah, at, at the expense of my parents actually being happy together. Two Christmases. <laughs> <laughs> What's better than two fucking Christmases, Ryan? Two Halloweens? Did you get two Halloweens? I mean, I got to eat the candy that my dad put out, and like didn't get to. Like, where the kids didn't have all of it, so I got to eat it. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I, mean, I got two, uh, birthdays. Did you get two Hanukkahs? That's 16 days of Hanukkah, dude. Ooh. Here, guys, just to make you happy, grab those bells, I'll put them in there for you. I'm gonna go catch this little fish right here. Uh, I- <laughs> Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to get us a little KK slider tune for us to listen to, but I want to do that in the next one. Not you're about one. to tell us we're getting a certain robe. Uh, <laughs> imagine that, like an Animal Crossing, and, like it's nighttime, you go out into the forest, and all of a sudden you see like fucking Pee Wee and all these animals in like KKK robes over like a fucking cross on fire. I would be, I would be absolutely <laughs> shocked. I can't, like this isn't me supporting it, of course, but I think that, those would be one of the most interesting moments in gaming history. But you know, then this game would be like horribly shunned and it would never have the uh, impact that it had. It's an Easter egg, Matt. You can't judge a game by its Easter eggs. That's true. <laughs> That's the golden rule. The golden rule of gaming and the gaming bible of gaming. And gaming! And gaming! That's a... An elephant. Okay, no. Hey, baby, what's up, girl? Hit that bitch with a net. No. No. <laughs> I want to shake more trees and see what see what comes out. Let's uh shake these nuts and see what shut comes out. Up, Ryan. <laughs> shake your nuts and see what comes out. Just give him a little jostle. Yeah, probably some semen. <laughs> Not like some pennies or like some colorful beads. Dude, what if one day you were just like jer jerking it and just like colorful beads just erupted out of your? I mean, cock. it turns a different color if you let it dry. When you say different, you mean like purple or like I mean like yellow. Mine's already just yellow when it comes out. <laughs> I'm serious. It comes out as yellow dust. <laughs> it looks like yellow gunpowder. It's just as flammable, too. <laughs> I got a tall umbloid. Oh, I didn't want to dig another hole, damn it. I'll flip this way. I'm going to 
Oh my god. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm, I, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna go see what's in the lost and found now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dude. Probably your dignity. <laughs> Because monkeys do that, they go uh, Haven't you seen monkeys do that? They raspberry. I've never seen them make the sound. I've seen them throw their poop with their, though. No, with their with their tongue they go Let me see. I want a fucking monkey so bad. Let me look up monkeys making fart noise. Monkeys make funny doo-doo. <laughs> Let's try this shirt on. Fart noise. Ooh! Do it. He's getting his lips ready. He's getting those lips ready. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Look at this dude. <laughs> He's just having some fun, man. He's just having Justin, the video is literally called Chimp Making Fart Sounds and the channel's Optimus Rhyme Prime. Optimus Rim Job. <laughs> it's gonna be my throwaway channel. It's a video from 2011. Where the <laughs> it's a I good video. I want to find some furniture in these trees, dude. Whenever you send me a text that's like a serious business matter, I'm just gonna respond with that video. Yeah, if you even respond at all. Oh! Listen, buddy! I'm just kidding. Right. I'm busy becoming one with the shinobi back at home, back True. at my dojo. I, I can't- <laughs> I can't fault you at that one, man. Let me catch a fish. You wanna catch a fish? Yeah. Why do I feel like this is the money rock? Why do I feel like this might be the money rock, Ryan? Just kidding. I knew it from- There's the a fish over there, let me catch it. Alright. You wanna catch this This is the boy? third time I said I wanted the fish in the past 30 seconds. Here you go, bro. Go ahead and catch that waterfall fish. I might mean it might mean it's a different type of fish if it's at the waterfall. Oh, what if it's a red Gyarados? Whoops. Oh, I nice. I I, uh, <laughs> I don't know if there's a lot of small fish we might not have. Okay. Now we already have that one. That's a uh, a loach. Okay, well I'll go to the ocean and try to find a fish. Uh, say swap, and then grab the money bag. Swap with the money bag. I put the money bag into my bells. I'll Bazinga. Go, you know what? Dig that fossil up. Too. I'll go ahead. Would you dig the fossil up for a little boy? Of course. Um. That's right. That's right. Uh huh. That's right. You got it, bro. There you go. Oh, fuck yeah. These sell for a lot of money. Depending. A mini ding dingdoid? Dinkoid. Uh, dingdoid. Ryan, Ryan, you fucking dinkoid. Okay, Ding I'm gonna... such a we have to sell some stuff actually. Fuck. Here you oh. go, Matt. I'm sipping my sweet co God, Coca-Cola is so fucking good, dude. Haha, uh -huh, yellow boobies. <laughs> I know Coke's really bad for you, but it's like God damn, it's good, man. Coke is uh it's really good with a burger. That's oh, like when I crave it the most. When I go like, like Five Guys or McDonald's, like I can't have McDonald's without a soda. That's the thing, man. If, if you like, if you try to get a water and be like, no, I'm just gonna be a bit healthier. It's like, yeah, we understand that bit, and we understand this comedy bit's been, you know, shot in the head and beat like a dead horse. But, but I mean, I'm, I'll say it again: if you're if if you're going to a fast food restaurant, you might as well, if you're already being unhealthy. Binge a little. That's the thing, man. Like, at the end of the day, when you're on your deathbed, is that one soda you had really gonna... 10,000 bells. I got 10,000 out of that money rock. Holy balls. Uh, I think that, Or holy like, bells, more like. Yeah, dude. It's just like... I'm trying to drink less soda. And recently, when I've been getting, like, McDonald's or, like, going to, like, a burger place... Uh-huh. I've just been getting water. And it's just not the same fucking experience. It's like, when I have a bite of that burger and those french fries and ketchup, it's like... I really just want to, to top it off, wash it down with like a nice, crisp, sweet Coca-Cola. It, it really is like part of the meal, you know? You, you do, though, you do arguably feel worse when you have a Coke with your fast food meal. Oh, I have so noticed that. Like, you and I had a really great night. That was fun, we, man. We rode around on limes. I rode a lime for the first time. Uh, and if you don't have those in your city, it's like little scooters. 
like electric scooters Similar you can just bird. use your phone to unlock and then just ride around Don't they have super cheap is like bird an uber brand or is uber its own like does uber have scooters I don't think, I think Uber was trying to like do their own scooter shit. Then they stopped. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a cool idea. We were walking back from a bar the other night and Ryan and I were like, dude, let's fucking lime it up. And we got on some limes and we just rode the fuck around, dude. We had so much fun doing that. You can like park them and go do stuff and then come back to them. We got some McDonald's, ate some, I got a Big Mac with bacon. I got a double cheeseburger with only cheese, ketchup, and mayonnaise. You got a double cheeseburger and... Hold the lettuce. lettuce. Don't be front and son. No seeds on the bun. We be up in this drive through Order for two. I got the crane for a number nine. Like my shoe. I need some chicken up in here. Mm -hmm. In this drizzle. Frizzle mm -hmm. my shizzle. Extra salt on the frizzle. Dr. Pepper, my brother. Another for your mother. Double, double, super, double, double, double super size. And don't forget the fries. Crispy. There. I love how you know all those lyrics still, man. I always will. And that's unfortunate. Do you remember uh, my sister always saying, uh, like, ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Remember that one? I do, but... I, I always, when I watch the video, I felt like I sh shouldn't be watching it. Oh, I didn't know there was a video. You, oh, you don't remember that classic old video? No, I just I just heard my sister singing the fucking song. God damn it, okay. we already donated this. Well, uh, people know it a lot from Family Guy, but the original video that I remember watching, and I don't know if the video was created for the song or not, but I just remember it was tied to the video very heavily. It's it's a young man with Down syndrome at, uh, oh. at the cash register of a McDonald's singing, Ding, fries are done, ding, fries are done. Oh, Would you okay. like an apple pie with that? Yeah. Would you, you know? I never saw that one. Just tried to donate two fish that were already in the collection. It's not feeling like a damn fool. Well, I'm going to go sell some stuff and then end the episode with a little surprise. <gasps> what is it? And then uh, you'll see. You'll see the surprise. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right. Do you like waffles? Yeah, yeah I like dude, waffles. That was that was yeah, that was. Do you like grip. pancakes? Yes, I like pancakes. That song was sick, man. All those great classic internet songs. The girl at the video game oh, store. I just bought paper and then immediately sold it by accident. She's like nice. some kind of dumbass. She's sweet. She knows all of the cheats. Her thumbs are lightning fast. At Tekken, she'll beat your ass. Whoa, careful, man. Sorry, it's Perry Grip, dude. You gotta love Perry Grip. Perry Grip was an inspiration to a fucking generation. <laughs> they were. <laughs> to young kids wanting to do little songs. Yo, he was so into- I, I made a song about waffles. I made a song that was like, uh, waffles are so good. It was like that, and I, I used- <laughs> Waffles are so good, dude. They are. Waffles are good. <laughs> Last night I was gonna order waffles. I went to a diner called Big Boy, and it was really good. But I I chose to order corned beef hash with eggs over a waffle. And I, I wish I had what? ordered. What? I mean, corned beef hash is great. You can't really mess up corned beef hash. Uh, it's one of my favorite foods. But uh, I wish. What's I'd another one of your favorite foods? Um, another one of my favorite foods. Um, I just really like breakfast first of all. So like, any kind of complete breakfast meal. Like my my ideal meal for breakfast is like. Wa Cinnamon a toast oh. with some whipped cream syrup, maybe some strawberries and bananas on it, and then you got some eggs over medium or over easy mm -hmm. or sunny side up, either one. Got some grits, got some hash browns, got some corned beef hash, some bacon, some sausage, and a biscuit with some jelly, like, and maybe a little fruit bowl Ooh. with some orange juice, coffee, and milk. All right. I know that's a ridiculous meal, but it's like here's, it, that's my dream meal. Here's Ryan's dream breakfast. Are you ready? Lay it on me, brother. Get those. Oven baked or microwavable cinnamon toast sticks. Have a little cup of syrup to dip it in. Cut some cheddar cheese into slices so you can eat that not like with it, but like as a side. And then uh, you want to have some uh, maple turkey sausage links that come in that yellow box. I forget the brand, but it's. It, and then you you have that, and it's a good breakfast. I, I was with you until the cheese. What? For breakfast? You put cheese on eggs or cheese on hash browns. Just straight up cheddar cheese for breakfast. Just cheese slices, yeah. Mm. That's what that that's legitimately a breakfast my mom used to make every morning. Uh not every morning, because like <laughs> I lived with my dad half. Wait, the wait, time. listen, listen. <laughs> Dun, dun, my dun, 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 dun. Ooh. But there was um she would make me, usually every morning, if it wasn't if I didn't have cereal, I would I I would have uh, waffles, sausage. That's always good, man. And cheese cut up into little, like, either, my mom just ended up starting to get the cheese cubes and just throwing them on. 
I watched this plate. I watched this animation movie when I was a kid and they put like butter on top of a pancake but I thought it was a slice of American cheese so I did that I like made like an ego like pancake and I put cheese on top and ate it I remember it being really good dude an ego waffle put some like a thing of cheddar cheese on it and then get a, get a sausage on that shit that's oh, pretty much what a sandwich. McGriddle is. Fucking waffle sandwich, hell yeah. Yeah. Anyway, guys, McGriddles the next are episode, amazing. McGriddles fucking kick ass. It's like the best thing McDonald's yeah. has besides Big Macs. But in the Chick Fil A has good biscuits uh, too. Chick Fil A's biscuits are pretty good, or the, the the little chicken minis. But next episode, I'm not a fan of uh, Burger King though. Ryan, next episode, we're going to go play at night at nighttime, and we're going to get some KK Slider songs. Pretty good. We're gonna have some music. I'm loving it. Yeah. Bitch. Stop!